Hey everybody, um, this video is going to be a review of some of the Claire's eyeshadows that I've gotten. Um, <clears throat> a couple of them that I'm going to show you are ones that I've actually featured in a video that I did when I just got some new products and I didn't really review them, I just kind of told you about them. And these are also, keep in mind, I really, really um, like this stuff, so it's going to be a pretty positive review, but you can also expect to see some tutorials. I'm going to start doing more of those. I've had a lot of requests for, um, for me to do, you know, show you exactly how I use the products that I have and that I'm telling you about. And um, so I'm coming up with kind of some different, messing around with some different ways to do that, but definitely, especially with these products, expect to uh, see me try them out and uh, show you some good ways to use them. So first off, um, I'm actually going to start with a couple of the um, palettes that I told you about before. This one is a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10 color palette here. Um, it's just, it doesn't have a name or anything, um, but it's just some really uh, pretty vivid colors. Um, what you're seeing now, they're even brighter than what you're looking at there. Um, just to tell you real quick, oh, here, as I hold them back, they're a little brighter, I guess. Um, you've got a, like a kind of a rusty colored red, a really deep blue, a peachy color, um, a medium blue, a like bubblegum pink, a um, darker purple, a medium purple down here, um, like a golden golden rod, golden yellow, and then two shades of green, one light, and one a um, little bit darker. I wouldn't call it olive, but it's um, kind of a true green color. And these are really interesting because um, they're not matte, but yet they don't have all that filler kind of sparkle stuff in them like you sometimes see with cheap eyeshadows. Like if you, if I just put my finger on it, like you get off a, a nice amount of color just by just touching it to these colors. And so I really like that. Like this is kind of my go-to thing for a bright eye look, especially those gorgeous blues and purples that you see there on the bottom. There's a pretty good shot of what all the colors look like. They almost look like when I hold them a certain way, they almost look like they would be creams. But they are um, they are creamy um I'm not talking creamy like a cream eyeshadow, but they feel creamy when you put them on your lid. I mean, they're powders, but they just have that kind of thick texture to them. I'm just really happy with the way they go on. And I also like, you know, like I said, that there's not a lot of sparkle in them, but yet there is a nice pearly sheen. They are kind of pearly. I guess that might be the best way to describe them. Um, but I really would recommend these. This was $5.50, and usually their stuff... Um, their eyeshadows are like buy one get one half off. They have like a lot of different makeup palettes. Some of them are clearly like little kid things, like little kid design stuff, but then the eyeshadows are like I saw them and I was like I have to have it. So, um like I said, they're usually buy one get one half off. So this is the other one I have in a it's a more neutral palette here. Um don't know. Let's get where we can see it here. There you go. Um, this is nice because you're not only getting um, some pretty golds and warm um, kind of rose shades and nice browns, but you're also getting a really, really nice deep black, a nice charcoal kind of silver color, a great highlight color with this sort of buttercream color. And once again, I mean, you just touch your finger to this stuff and you've got a large amount of color there. Um, each of these, I would say, is a little bit bigger than maybe dime-sized. If that gives you a little perspective of how large the pans are here. And, um, I, could, I mean, as I hold them up there, they look like they could be creams. But once again, these aren't glittery. Um, they've just got a really nice, smooth texture. They're, they're really easy to blend, therefore. And, um... Gosh, I just love these colors so much. Like, the more I look at them, the more I, you know, start thinking of all the different looks you could do with this kind of a palette. And um, having that subtle shimmer that they have, it does make them quite easy to blend. 
So, and they both come with these kind of long handled applicators and a little mirror, little skinny mirror right down there in the bottom. And so, like I said, both of these are $5.50 and usually buy one, get one half off. Now one of the palettes that I recently got, look how cute this is. This comes with nine shades and it was $6.50 and I just think the packaging is so cute. It's like little ice cubes trays is what it reminds me of. It's really cute, like there's little grooves in between all of them, like it's so neat. And then you open it up and there's one of those little bitty applicators. <laughs> But these are the colors you get in it. This reminds me of some of the Urban Decay palettes that I've seen, just this configuration of colors. Um, take this out so I can explain this a little better. Um, the one that I chose comes with a really nice ivory white, a light lavender, a kind of orangey peach, um, a light yellow, um, kind of a, a light teal blue, but that was pretty vibrant. A nice pure green, a coppery brown, a, nice, a black, and a um, sort of slightly deeper purple. So these colors, um, they remind me consistency wise of the ones that I just showed you in that palette. Um, but they are so, I, I don't know, the colors are so rich. Like I'm really surprised at how they can do this. And this packaging, like this would be a great gift, I feel like. Like I would love to get this as a gift from somebody <laughs> or just buy it for myself. But um, what's nice about this one is the range of colors that you get here. I mean, you could see how you could do something like a smoky eye. You could do something really, oops, really pretty and bright with some of those blues and purples. So I really look forward to using this more from what I have used in it. I've used just some more basic colors. And I really, really like them. They're great highlight shades. I can tell you that for sure. So, um, and the black is really, really black too. Like if I touch it right now, my finger is black. <laughs> so you guys are going to like that a lot if you go out there and see it. And like I said, you're not going to even have to pay too much for it. It's only six fifty for this cute little guy. Nine colors. Okay. Now, what I think is the best or the most impressive for last ta-da, so we fit it in the screen, there we go. This palette is, um, this cost me $10, but like I said, I got it with this one, so I got um, that other one half off, so it was less than $15 for both of these, pretty much. And you open it up, and you've got all these colors. I think it's like, what was it, one, two, three? It's like 56 colors, I believe. And it's from Claire's. And I'm just going to kind of pan it around here. There is a lot of sparkle in most of these, not in all of them. Um, if you look at it here, like if you look down vertically, kind of look down the lines, here's like a section that could clearly be smoky, um, like teal blues, dark blues, purples to pinks to browns to golds. There's so many colors here, and the color payoff is so great. I did a look with these purples the other day, and I was in love with it. Like, it just looks so pretty. There is so much color that comes off of these. Like, you really wouldn't believe it. Like, you're really not going to probably start believing it until I do some tutorials with it. But they look sparkly. They really, it's strange. It's like the sparkle doesn't even totally come off on this, if you know what I mean. Like you put your brush in it and you're going to get more color than you are sparkle. And like I said, some of them are a little bit more, there's a little more pizzazz in them than others. But this many colors, having these many, this many to choose from, I can tell you right now it's a lot more vibrant than what you're seeing on your screen. It's, it's much darker than that. The colors are so pretty. As I hold it back there, you can kind of see what I'm talking about, but I'm going to have to wrap this up, but I, moral of the story is check out Claire's eyeshadows. They're really, really great, and I like them a lot, and I think you guys are going to like them, too. Thanks for watching.